back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the wonderful world of crystals. Mm. This is citrine if you're curious and don't want to wait until we get into the video. This is the abundant stone. So if you're new to my channel, you're probably thinking why the F are we talking about crystals? But I feel like crystals are super trendy at the moment and I feel like that's why a lot of people have been wanting to see my crystal collection. I have been collecting crystals for a few years now and the more that I have kind of been showing some new pieces that I've been getting a lot of you have requested to see my crystal collection so that is what we're gonna talk about today I am by no means a crystal guru yet I'm working on it I'm working on it so anything that I tell you guys is just things that I've read seen on the internet stuff that I know just about the stones from just collecting them for a few years so if I say anything wrong or I'm not keeping my stone in the right place please forgive me I am still learning I just wanted to share my collection with you guys because you seem to be interested in it and I would love to share these beautiful treasures with you guys so when I thought that I wanted to make this video I kind of thought back to when I started to like crystals and I went all the way back to third grade. So how are you in third grade? You're like nine, eight and nine years old. His name was Mr. Weinstein and he always had like cool little specimens like this just kind of hanging out on his desk and you could come up and you could play with them and you can take them back to your seat. So it was just a really cool thing that I remember from third grade. I don't really remember much of him. I just remember that he always had cool stones on his desk. This is pyrite, fool's gold by the way. And in that same class there was this little dude that sat in front of me and his name was Vincenzo and he had really thick glasses and he wore suspenders every day and I remember that sometimes I would get in fights for him because people wanted to pick on him because he was just so tiny and I was being the Amazon nine-year-old that I was always felt like the need to defend the smaller ones so I do remember getting in food fights and pushing kids down because they would like push him and it would just get me so angry and he was always super duper nice to me he would help me with my spelling and my times tables so uh, he was actually the first person to ever give me a stone and it was a blue little stone and he brought it to class all the time and then sometimes without him even say anything he would just like turn around and put the stone like on my desk and just would let me chill with it all day and I think it was like the end of the school year and he was like here I want you to have this blue stone and I was just like oh my god I love you you're so tiny give me a hug and I really like that I have that memory like I can see it vividly in my mind and I wish I still had that blue stone to show you guys but I moved around so much as a kid that I'm sure that it just kind of got lost in the commotion of all that um, but I feel like after that I kind of was into stones like I would recognize them when I saw them um, and I always knew when I got older I wanted to fill my house with crystals because I just always thought they were like beautiful specimen things that came from the earth so I am currently fulfilling those goals. There's so many stones that can be the same thing like fluorite or rose quartz or amethyst or smoky quartz and they can all just look totally different. So when I see a stone, I kind of feel the vibe of the stone. Even if I'm buying it on eBay, like I feel like I can feel the vibe. Like I can look at 200 rose quartz and be like, eh, I only like this one here. Like I feel like they speak to you. <laughs> well, they speak to me. I feel like we're gonna sound a little crazy in this video, but that's okay. With anything in life, I feel like if you believe in it, that's all that matters. I just really find it amazing how these beautiful pieces of rock stone just are created over hundreds of years with pressure and gases that are in the earth and they just create these beautiful works of art that we are lucky enough to just put in our home. So yeah, let's talk about some of my favorite stones and where I get most of my crystals. So I only have a few here that we're gonna talk about. It's basically my living room is like the mecca for all of my crystals. They all live there, get the energy going, it's my favorite place to sit in the house, clearly. There are different types of crystals. So any crystal that I show you like this that has like point that goes to it is a wand. If I show you a chunk, this one you have to be careful with because it actually has my blood stained in it because it cut me. Um, we have crystal clusters like this. This is an amethyst crystal cluster. And I also have just, I, don't, I think this is my only little sphere that I have. I'm just kind of getting into spheres. Spheres are really expensive, like really expensive. I look at them and I'm like, oh, I want to get one. I'm like, oh, not for that much. I'm going to throw up little fun facts about the crystal that I'm talking about just because usually when I'm talking about something that I'm excited about, I forget to tell you like important things and I'm just like, oh, look at this beautiful stones. I'm going to have like information on the side for you. So check it out and the bottom bar as well, because I'm going to list a few of my favorite crystal books down below. If you guys want to check those out, most of the time, whenever I find a crystal book, I usually buy it. Yes, a lot of them are repetitive because they're usually talking about kind of the same stones but all of them I found have been super helpful and there will be a crystal giveaway in this video so make sure you stay tuned till the end 
if you want to uh, win some of these amazing crystals. All right, so we're gonna start talking about rose quartz first because I feel like this is a super popular stone. I feel like this is a lot of people's first stone. This is a heavy stone, okay? It is very, very heavy. Let your stone pick you. I feel like that's super important. You can pick up a stone and you can totally feel its energy. This guy is my biggest rose quartz that I own. And this is not a stone that's in its natural form. This stone has been cut and polished. I get the majority of these guys from eBay. And I'm also gonna list my plug on eBay for crystals. I really debated with it because I was like, dang, do I want to really be bidding against show? But then I was like, no, you got to share the love. So rose quartz is also known as love quartz because it's supposed to attract love and it's supposed to help you heal if you've ever been hurt before and it's your heart chakra. And it's just a very beautiful stone to have. It's actually, like I said, one of my favorite stones because it's just so pink and girly. This guy is also rose quartz in its more natural element. I have a massive one of this guy that I have on my living room table and it's so heavy I can't even pick it up. Jeremy actually struggles to pick it up. This also has a very feminine, soft energy coming from it which I very much enjoy one stone down 58 more to go no I'm just kidding no I'm not so my next stone is fluorite this guy is one of my favorites I think he's so beautiful and intricate and I could just stare into this stone all day long and another really cool thing about fluorite is it can look a million different ways like this is fluorite and this is fluorite and they look absolutely nothing alike I have a lot of fluorite in my house because it is a stabilizing stone and it's also a super highly protective stone as well so I want lots of protection in the home and fluorite is great for that so this is one of my favorite kind of fluorite pieces altogether and then this is another one of my favorites and just because there's so much happening in this guy and I just walk by and touch this guy all the time this is fluorite and it's more natural element super duper pretty um, a lot of these like smaller natural stones I find at home goods if you want to find the good stuff you got to go to home goods on the regular because when I was going like all the time all the time I was finding so many stones um, but now that I go less and less I don't know if they're like not carrying as many but I don't see I don't see them all and I'm like oh this is sad <laughs> people want them fluoride also helps with concentration and self-confidence if you guys watch my vlog I had a little piece of fluoride and I put it in my shirt when I feel nervous I feel like it really helps me kind of center my thoughts and concentrate on what I want to say so next we're gonna talk about citrine so rose quartz is my favorite look wise but my favorite stone in general is citrine because this is the stone of manifestation it's the imagination stone it, it really wakes up your creativity and your imagination and there can be a bunch of different colors citrine is in ranging all the way from like super yellow to a pale yellow like almost clear this is also a really protective stone I keep one of these in my bedroom and a few of them in the living room I think Jeremy sleeps with one next to his side of the bed too and this stone can't hold negative energy like some stones can hold negative energy and that's why you're supposed to cleanse the stone especially if you're like wanting to use it for something like manifestation or just anything in general like being protective um, it can hold negative energy so that's why people recommend that you cleanse your stones but citrine actually does not hold negative energy it really dissipates any negative energy and it's also the abundance stone so this stone is going to help attract wealth and success into your life I have a little one that also sits back here and you can see kind of the different colors like this guy is super yellow and this guy is more pale yellow I want to get a smaller citrine stone that I can carry in my purse or my wallet because that really helps attract money flow again if you believe and that's kind of like the whole manifestation the secret you can have anything you want if you believe that you have it and you already see yourself having it and I think that for me crystals are just kind of a constant reminder of positive thinking because when I see them I'm like oh that's my abundance zone all I have to do is think about what I want and poof, 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 it comes also if you want to actually like go to a store but you're not sure like what they're called they're actually if you google metaphysical stores a lot of those stores do carry crystals that you can go see and touch there's this really cool one that's here where I live and it's in the mall um, so if you live in my area and countryside mall is next to you it's called the Bodhi tree and there's where I like to go to actually get like my palm stone stone that I actually hold in my hand and think and kind of talk to because you can see and you can feel them out and I feel like those stones are super important because I'm always 
always touching the stone. So I want to feel it. I want to see it. I don't really buy small stones on the internet. Um, all my small stones, I want to go touch and feel. So if you Google metaphysical store, that's usually where you can find like really cool pieces. Another cool one that I absolutely love is smoky quartz. I love this little chunky man I'm about to show you. This is one of my favorite smoky quartz pieces. I love its chunkiness. I love that he's super chunked out in the bottom like this. Uh, when I saw him, I just was like, yes, I must have you come to me now. I don't know if you guys can see what's happening inside, but there's just so much to be seen in these stones. I could look at them for hours, days, and always find something that I hadn't seen in the stone before. This is a very grounding stone, and this guy is good because it clears like electromagnetic stress, which is basically what a lot of us have because we're just dealing with computers and cell phones and all that every single day. So smoky quartz is good to have in parts of your house where you have like a lot of that happening. So I actually keep one by my computer. There's some, <laughs> there's some out in the living room by like the TVs and stuff like that and it absorbs basically all that kind of stressful energy. And this is like one of those chameleon stones. So you can see that this one is super dark. He's almost black. The small one that I have, like this guy here, he's super dark. But this is smoky quartz as well. Super different, still super gorgeous. This stone also really helps to release negative energy like fear, jealousy, anger, anything like that. This stone is really great at kind of cleansing any of those vibes. Oh, I just love it. So our next stone is amethyst. This guy I think is mainly known for its soothing properties. A lot of people meditate with this stone. Somebody told me that this was the Pisces stone, but I I don't know. I feel like I couldn't find that anywhere else. But if it is the Pisces stone, that's cool. But this stone originally was my, one of my favorites because I was just drawn to its like sheer beauty. I love the purple factor in it. Some of them, as you can see, are a lot more purple. Like, I don't know if you can tell, this guy is way more purple than this guy. But this guy is amethyst. You can see there's just like a purple kind of tint tinge to this. It's a very calming stone and it's supposed to kind of help with like evil thoughts. I think I was reading somewhere too that you can tell like how good your amethyst is depending on your purple color. Jeremy's always like, it's super dangerous that we have all these really pointy objects in the house. I'm like, is it? And then the last stone we're gonna talk about is the stone that I probably have the least of because this stone is really easy to knock off because people can just give you a piece of glass. So I don't really have a lot of clear quartz, which I feel like is a super popular kind of crystal because it's supposed to be like the master healer. Clear quartz, I always, I feel like I get tongue tied when I say it, but clear quartz also um, can kind of help with your concentration levels as well. This is a stone though that's going to absorb anything that's around it. So if you are using your crystals kind of for manifestation or just basically whatever you need from them, you're gonna want to cleanse them regularly because they will get drained, they will die out. And I'm a little psycho, like I don't want people coming over and touching my crystals. I'm always like, you could look, but don't touch because you don't know what kind of energy people are putting like into your stones. Clear quartz is really cool too because it's in a bunch of other stones. I know that it's in amethyst, it's in citrine, it's in rose quartz, it's in smoky quartz, it's in a bunch of stones and I think that's why it's called the master healer. Just read more about stones. It's like all that I can recommend to you guys because everything that I've told you guys or mentioned is just things that I have read from books or the internet and I just want to learn more. I think they're super interesting and they have so many cool properties and so many people believe in their healing powers. Those are all the stones. Hopefully we can talk more in depth when I feel like I know more about the stones. Like I said, I have been collecting them for a few years now, but I was mainly collecting them for their sole purpose of being beautiful objects to have in my home. And then somebody gave me like a crystal book and I just started to read more about it. And I was like, damn, I find this really, really interesting. So it's kind of become a hobby for me. Um, I just think that there are these beautiful earthly things that I can have in my home and I feel super lucky. Let me some comments on what your favorite crystal is. Do you remember the first crystal you ever got? Are you going to make the jump and kind of purchase a crystal? And what is yours going to be? What do you want it for? Do you just like crystals because they're pretty? Because honestly, that's why I started to like them. And then once you start to read about them, it just gets more and more interesting. Well, to me it does. And yeah, oh my god. Look at me, I was ready to go, turn off the camera. I think it's because I'm just getting so hot back here. But we're not, it's not done yet because I still gotta give crystals away to you guys. So I'm giving away three crystals and they are crystal wands. They are the big boys. So there are three things that you have to do if you want to be entered into my crystal giveaway. One is be subscribed to this channel. Two, follow me on Instagram. And three, all you have to do is leave me a comment. Tell me why you want the crystal. Do you need the crystal in your life? Is it going to change your world? Or you can just write, I love crystals 
crystals. Whatever you want, make sure the world crystal is in it so I know you want to be entered. And I will pick the winner in probably about a week or so. About a week or so. We are actually going out of town on Saturday, so we get back to Florida, I think on Wednesday. Um, so I will pick the winner probably next in next Friday's video. So if you want to enter, make sure you're a subscriber, you're following me on Instagram, and just leave me a comment. So my first crystal that I'm giving away is this fluorite piece. This is a fluorite wand, and it looks very dark to me like here when I'm looking at it on the monitor, but it's very purple when I look at it here, and there's lots of gorgeous things you can look at. You can just stare into these stones forever and ever. So make sure you're leaving which crystal you would prefer just so it's a little bit easier. On me. The next guy is this beautiful rose quartz. Rose quartz, like I said, is one of my favorites. This one just looks so perfect to me that I almost kept this stone when it arrived, but I like felt it and I held it. I was like, no, this is for one of my subscribers. <laughs> and then last but not least is this green fluorite guy here. So we have the purple fluorite and then the green fluorite. So just make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure I'll, that I'll ask you again if you do win which stone you would like. But if you can, just let me know which stone you would prefer. And again, I'll have all the details on the stones listed in the bottom bar, their size, their weight, all that good stuff. And also any books or anything that I would recommend and maybe more about the stones all in the bottom bar. So that is it for me and my crystals. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, you just have to do three things. Make sure you're subscribed, follow me on Instagram, and just leave me a comment down below. Make sure you let me know what crystal you guys want. You can't have this one. This one is mine. <laughs> so that is it for me. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.